American Beer TV. Today we got something really cool for you. We've got Russian River Brewing Supplication. This yeah. is a, uh, a uh, barrel aged beer. <laughs> it's a sour. Yep. Aged for 12 to 15 months in oak barrels with cherry added. So, should be and, rather interesting. Uh, let me get this thing off. Yeah. While you while you do that, uh, it's made with about four different types of yeah, wild uh, yeast: Lactobacillus, Brettanomyces, uh, Saccharomyces, and Pediococcus. And Pediococcus. Yep. So there we go. That's about no, all. Those aren't bad words. They sound, they, no, they're they're not. They're good words. Ooh, ooh. There we go. And it's a party. That's right. So let's give that a shot. Go for it. Here's the pour. Now it says ale. It's I mean it's a sour ale. Other than that, we're not. It doesn't list a style per se. Ooh, I'm picking up the nose from here. Yeah. Let's get that later. All right, let's get it. So we've got these ginormous lakes of it, beer. It has. So the head dies down a, quick. A very. Um, the color of this beer is very close to uh, bourbon. No? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it has that amber color. Yeah. Got a little bit amber of, orange I got a little color. Bit of floating yeast in mine. Yeah, because you went second. Um, it's got that amber orange Ooh, that color. That smells so good. I mean, it's really fresh wow. and yeah, outdoorsy. Very fresh. Like, wow. Um, get a little bit of the fruit it, in there. Yeah, it, more of the fruit. Some of the wild yeast c kind of pick up on that flowery. This do, yeah. to me doesn't have a whole lot of the wild flower. It has more of like the fruit and like mm -hmm. like like fresh air. <laughs> I don't know how yeah. else to explain it. It's That's like very good fresh point. Like, air. like oxygen. It's like being yeah. It's like, like being out in like in like a field of strawberries or. Whatever, yeah, that's a, that's, cherry that's a orchard really good or something, and having that fresh air, it just smells cold, so clean. crisp, yeah. clean air. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but yeah, you know what? That works. It is. It's got a real crisp, clean aroma. There's some tart notes in there. Mm -hmm. There are some tart notes. Um, are you picking up any malt? Uh, yeah, a, hint. a little, a little, hint, uh, a little bit sweetness of sweetness that comes through. I'm picking up a little bit of the booziness. Um, yeah, it's not super boozy. It's seven no. percent alcohol. It's not. It's you know. I mean, you. I'm, it's not a you know wrecking ball of a beer. It's, yeah, we've got these glasses that really concentrate it, and we're sticking our nose in there, so we're yeah. really. I love these glasses. They're you know what? I, awesome. I agree. I love them. <laughs> I, I, they're obnoxious, but they're geeky obnoxious, <laughs> and you know, it's. That's it's just awesome. So let's get into the taste of this. Definitely. Thing. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Very different from the nose. Ooh. Yeah, it's tart. It, it's very sour. Totally different from the nose. <laughs> so, it, very so it's dry. got that feeling in your palate of very similar to like putting a bunch of Sour Patch Kids in your yeah. mouth, but without that sugary right, sweetness. Right, right. So you get that tart effect. That's... um. Is that like citric acid or something that I think, makes that? I, th I think there's also some some coming from the cherries too. Yeah, there, so that's there's contributing some, the yeah. tart cher tartness of the. I cherries. I know there's a chemistry coming. when you're making sour candy. There's a chemical that they put in it. I don't know if it's citric acid or it's something like that. I'm that, not certain. That makes your mouth just completely pucker up. I have no idea. And this on has that, that kind of similar sensation, yeah. but it feels so much better because it's beer. Like, that's really good stuff. Wow, yeah, you. It's really good. Um, it's really got some pucker power, though. Yeah. It's hard to say. Do you? Do you? I mean, it's it's barrel aged, but yeah. I don't. Do you get? Do you get any uh, oak tones coming through? Not so much in the flavor. I think it's all overwhelmed. But I think I think the oak probably contributed think, some to the body. Yeah, I think I think it contributes to that. Flavor. Right. Just like. Um, Aging wine in a barrel, you 
know, gives it, it some it of those kind has of tannic qualities. Mm -hmm. A little but bit it's of not dryness. Really, um, it I, doesn't have it doesn't have a woody, oaky kind of correct flavor. Normally, this is not one that you would. I, I would just pick up and, and then say it was. I, I'm oak. sorry, you you said, but it's it's aged in oak for how long? For 12 to 15 months. So 12 to 15 months. Okay. And referment. So bottle condition. Okay. Bottle condition. So that's that's quite a long time for a beer mm -hmm. to sit in a barrel. It's really going to pick up a lot of that. And then by adding the wild yeast strains to that is also going to really come. Completely change Definitely. the malt characteristics of a beer. Mm -hmm. Really, completely change flavor. And then the cherries um, as well are going to dramatically change it. But I think one of the things that they did with this one—that's, I mean, you've got you've got three things there, three heavy hitters in the flavor department. You've got, you know, the wild yeast. You got the cherries. You got the, the the oak barrels. But I think they went really mellow on it and really subdued and really focused on making a very well balanced beer. Mm -hmm. So this is not a crack like a crack like no. a, like a Belgian lambic no. brewed with cherries. It is not that beer. At no, all. It, it if they didn't say it was brewed with cherries, you would definitely pick up some kind of you know cherry like fruit or qualities to it. But it's it's not so much that you're. You're expecting a cherry beer, or, you know. Right. Now that we've we've had it on our palate, the the nose of the beer has changed a lot. It's gotten even more wow. complex. Um, when you do that, get that some slurp air in your mouth. and get some air in there. Man, it gets sour. Yeah. That just explodes with sour. No, the wood. I take it back. The wood's starting to come, starting come, to come maybe, maybe we need to let the Maybe we need to sit back and let the beer warm up. I know you guys don't want to wait for us to let the beer warm up. But. This is definitely a, a really good sour, but I that think, also depends on how you feel about sour beers. Yeah, I think this, this, this is like a defining moment. If you give somebody this beer and let them try it, they're either going to go... Yeah, I like yeah. it, or I'm not, you know? Yeah. Like, some of the hop heads out there. For me, like, I really like hoppy beers. I've, it's got to be a time like this where I can sit back and really appreciate right. a sour beer. If I'm out at a restaurant <laughs> or something like that, or drinking, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, to drink, I, I don't typically no. like these beers. They kind of, kind of overwhelm your palate because there's so much complexity going on. So you, this is really nice. After dinner, or if you're sit drink it by itself, you know, oh, watching yeah. a movie or whatever, when you have time to kind of contemplate the beer, awesome. But if you're out with your buddies and you order this at the bar, you're, you know, you're, for yeah. one, you're going to spend like 15 bucks on the beer, 20 bucks on the beer, yeah. and then you're going to be like, you know, this is weird, you know. I mean, I mean that's my opinion. I don't know. Yeah. Unless you're going to geek out with your buddies and yeah, you know, that's true. Pass the but it's you know. it's really good stuff. Um, it's very sour. I mean, you I've seen a lot of uh, entry level sour beers um, that I uh, that I've liked a lot, but um, I think this really probably has a lot to do with the amount of of the wild yeast they're putting. Oh in. Yeah. like having four strains of wild yeast in a beer oh, is yeah. really going to. You know, flip around that flavor. Profile. Exactly. Like, I mean, when we, well, for example, when we did the Brabant, which from Avery Brewing, mm -hmm. which <laughs> you know had some Zinfandel, had some fruity notes, had had a couple different yeast strains. It was nowhere near as, no, as sour as that this. beer was very tame. And oh, a little bit of yeast. Swirl. There we go. Um, and so that was kind of like an introductory level sour. This one is an intermediate to a advanced level of sour. At this point. You're either gonna like your. You're either gonna determine whether you like sours or not. Yeah. One thing I can say about this beer for those of you that I mean, if you're getting kind of turned off, I I poured this beer um, for New Year's. We had uh, family and friends over at the house. Uh, my dad actually brought me this beer. <laughs> of all people, I'm like, dude, you're the awesome. man. You've been watching too much American beer TV. Very cool. <laughs> uh, it's working. So we actually did a sample. We poured uh, everybody in the room a sample of this beer, and everyone, uh, uh, my family, you know, the, 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 they're more into wine. We drink a lot of red wine for family gatherings. They all freaking love this beer. Every, nice. Everyone, the the women, the men, everyone, the children, go. the no, dog, everyone, everyone loved this beer, and they couldn't. 
put their finger on it. They didn't know what the hell they were drinking. They were like, what is what is up with this beer? Yeah. Why does it taste like that? I'm like, it's a barrel-aged sour. They use wild yeast, and I kind of yeah. explained the beer. They were totally amazed by it, and they totally loved it. They go, very cool. I think more beer should be like this. I would drink more beer if it there tasted like it that. It does have so. kind of a whiny quality to it. I'm not and I'm not one to whine about that, but uh, it's got a... That was bad. <laughs> but no, it does have kind of a... Uh, you know, it does. It does have some have, wine have much, you know, and it. There are parts of it that are so sour; it almost approaches the sour approaches bitterness, and I can't determine if it's the sour, just being really sour, or if I'm picking up some hops or something. Yeah, uh, I mean, we really haven't discussed the hop level on this beer, and I, I don't really pick up on much. I mean, no. they're, 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 they're there, but they're very. No, yeah, it's, it's 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 not a part of it. Maybe it was part of the yeast that I got that was a little a little bitter, but I got something that was pretty bitter. So, but it's good. This cool. is definitely a really really good you can beer. If you can find it, if you can find it, and you want you to gonna... challenge your taste buds a bit, yeah. uh, well outside the norms of anything normal beers, this is definitely a challenge. So, so go for uh, it. Give it a shot. Good. Excellent. Cheers. Cheers. Have an Get out there and drink. Thank you.